The Ramble Shamble Children by Christina Soon Torn Bart. Illustrated by Caldecott Honor winner Lauren Castillo. Down the mountain across the creek, past the last curve in the road, five children live together in a ramble shamble house. There was always work to do at the Ramble Shamble House. Mara took care of the garden, while Lockie and Roosel chased off the always hungry blackbirds. Finn fed the chickens, and Jory looked after the mud. There were always meals to share at the Ramble Shamble House. Mara picked the salad, while Lockie and Roosel pulled the carrots. Finn fetched the eggs, and Jory looked after the mud. The garden always needed digging or weeding or gathering up. There were always bugs to catch or fences to patch. The work was hardly ever done, but doing it together made it easier. At night when the children were full and sleepy, they all piled into Mara's bed and listened to her spin stories about giants and dragons and brave explorers. One afternoon, the children took a break to read a book they found in the attic. Oh, that's what a proper house looks like, said Mara. And what a pretty garden. Looks nice, said Finn. Definitely doesn't look like ours, said Roosel. But maybe it could, said Lockie. The next day, the children set to work turning the Ramble Shamble house into a proper home. They propered up the chickens. They propered up a scarecrow. They raked over all the mud puddles because mud definitely isn't proper. They propered up the garden. Proper houses always have roses, said Lockie. We can pull up the carrots to make room for them, said Roosel. Perfect, said Mara. Now all that's missing is the proper finishing touch. We must have a proper chandelier, said Mara. I think they're made of diamonds. The stink bug is shaped like a diamond, said Lockie. We've got plenty of those, said Roosel. When they finished, everything looked more proper. Hold on, said Finn. Has anyone seen Jory? Isn't he in the mud puddle, said Lockie. Oh no, we propered it up. Jory! 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 We have to find him before it gets dark, said Mara, swallowing back tears. When they entered the forest, the children slowed to a tiptoe. What if a giant stole Jory? whispered Lockie. Or a dragon, said Roosel. There's no such thing, said Mara. Here, Finn, you go first. They followed the trail through a dark tunnel of brambles and into a clearing. Jory! Oh, look at him there in the mud. That's when Jory took his very first steps straight into the arms of his ramble shamble family. That night, the children sat together on the porch, munching snap peas. They had put everything back the way it was, especially the mud. Our house sure doesn't look like the one in the picture, said Roosel. It's Ramble Shamble, said Lockie. It's ours, said Finn. Mara smiled. It's perfect. The children stayed up late watching Jory make a proper mess. 
while the star shone overhead brighter than diamonds. Life is practically perfect for the Ramble Shamble children. Maybe that is perfectly okay. Bye.